Hi, welcome to Naresh IT and this is Shiv Kumar. So, today we are discussing about uh, JDBC drivers. So, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. We have the four varieties of the drivers and what are the functionalities of the each and every driver and advantages and disadvantages. So, first we are going to start with the type 1 drivers. Type 1 drivers is also called as the JDBC ODBC bridge driver. Type 1 is the category name and technically we called as a JDBC ODBC bridge driver. So, the driver we are discussing first. So, this is our JDBC ODBC bridge driver environment means if you design a JDBC application by using the type 1 driver. So, what is the execution process? Uh, this is called as our execution process diagram that is in our local mission. It is nothing but an current working computer. Uh, this is our Java application. The Java application contains the Java code and as well as the JDBC code also. That is JDBC ODBC bridge driver is a type 1. And at the same time, in the same client mission, we have some databases also and as well as the ODBC drivers and as well as the database vendor drivers also. This is the total setup required for executing the JDBC applications in type 1 approach. Repeating the point. This is the total setup is required for executing of JDBC applications by using the type 1 driver. It is nothing but an JDBC ODBC bridge driver. So, what is the execution process of this one? It is nothing but an functionalities. Uh, first, our Java application is sending a call to database. So, when you are sending the call to database, whatever it may be, creating tables or inserting data or updating data or deleting data. It is following some procedure also while moving from Java application to database for this entire journey, it is going to touching the so many stages and the so many stages are that our boxes are representing. First, a Java code call is goes to the JDBC driver that is your Java point of view. And now the JDBC is providing the call to the ODBC. ODBC is passing the call to the DB vendor driver and the DB vendor driver is passing the call to the our databases. There is DBMS or RDBMS or ORDBMS whatever it may be anything is happens. So, Java application passing the call to the JDBC ODBC bridge driver and the ODBC bridge driver is passing the call to ODBC driver, ODBC to the DB vendor driver, DB vendor to the database. So, it is a some long journey. Yes, of course, it is a long journey, it is a time taken process also, but the type 1 drivers working environment is like that. So, what happening here sir, this is a client call, it is nothing but an our application passing the call to JDBC ODBC bridge driver and it is passing the call to ODBC driver, ODBC call passing again call to DB vendors and DB vendors are passing the finally call to the database. So, for performing of this entire operations, what are the driver we are using in our program sir? And this is the example for the type 1 driver, JDBC ODBC driver and it is provided by the our Sun Microsystem, but not developed in the Java. So, now so we will see the background operations what happening in every stage. This is your stage 1 and this is your stage 2 and this is the stage 3, stage 4 and finally, we reach us to the database. So, client to and this is database. The first client call means our Java application passing to the JDBC ODBC bridge driver. What happening there sir? That call, the call contains generally our queries. So, JDBC ODBC bridge driver, what is the call they received? The call is converting into the ODBC understandable format and it is passing to the ODBC driver. After that, ODBC driver what it is doing sir? receiving the call coming from the bridge, the bridge driver and then it is re again translating into the current working database understandable library format. Uh, that is nothing but an DB vendor format. For example, I am using the Oracle. Now, the ODBC driver is converting the call into the Oracle library or if I am using the MySQL, now ODBC driver is converting the call into the MySQL understand, driver understandable format. Every database is using internally some driver. Java using one thing and database using one thing between these two the communicator is the ODBC. 
that is why we are calling it is a JDBC ODBC bridge, it is nothing but a connector between the front end and back end. So, ODBC driver is converting the call into the DB vendor driver understandable format that is this dotted rectangle box. So, after that what happens uh, DB vendor is receiving our call and finally, converting the call into database understandable format. Then lastly, your call is received to the database. Now, database is processing that query, producing some results or it is affected on the database. The result of the query again sending back to them in the same direction, which direction we travel in the same direction we are re uh, returning the journey. <laughs> database sending the outputs or error messages to the DB vendor driver means which database we are using, the database is providing driver and this is passing the call to the ODBC and, and ODBC is passing to the bridge driver and bridge driver is returning to our program. So, this is the vice versa operations. So, so many translations are happening sir, yes here the so many translations are happens. First to bridge understandable translation, next ODBC translation and then vendor translation and finally, database translation. So, after performing of these number of translations, then finally, your query execution is possible. <coughs> it is a very lengthy process sir, of course, it is a lengthy process. So, that is why we have the some more drivers also, without performing these number of operations and these lengthy process, we have some alternatives also that is type 2 driver, type 3 driver and type 4 drivers also available. But the functionality, working style of type 1 driver this only and we are unable to change the working style of this driver and we are feeling it is a very tough process or we are feeling it is a lagging process, then we can change the driver, but changing the nature of this existing driver is not possible. So, whenever you are not interested or whenever you are not uh, required this lengthy process, then shift the driver that is alternative drivers also. So, here we are discussing the functionality, it is nothing but an working style of the type 1 driver. So, repeating the process once again, see this, a Java program or a Java application sending the call to first to ODB, JDBC ODBC bridge. JDBC ODBC bridge is converting the call into the ODBC understandable format. ODBC again converting the call into the current working database library understandable format and passing to that one. And this vendor driver is translating the call to the database understandable format and passing to here. And now the finally, database is receiving the call, converting into the process machine understandable format and processing then generating the results also. So, this is the working style of the R functionality of the type 1. And while using of these drivers, is there any advantages sir? Yes, we have some advantages and we have some disadvantages also. It is nothing but on the pros and cons, pluses and minuses. What are the drawbacks of this first one type of driver? And these are the drawbacks, first see the drawbacks. This is a little bit performance problems. Why it is becomes as a performance problems? because the every time the lengthy process is going on. Number of stages we should travel and number of translations, parsings also happening. So, if you want to perform these number of operations every time when you are communicating with the database, automatically it is a time taken process. This is not one way operation, even the return journey process also the same process, the lengthy process is going on. And the second drawback of this one is, Every client system or every client mission ODBC installation is required, means the ODBC drivers we should install while running the project in the client missions. Why is our ODBC is not available defaultly? Default in our missions not available, we should install it. So, it is a problem, yes it is a problem, reason the project is running in the one client mission, it is not a problem, but the project is running from the hundreds of client missions or thousands of client missions. Compulsory, we should install the driver in all the thousand client missions. So, installations every time in the thousand client missions is not a easy process, it is also one of the drawback. And second one, these type of drivers is not good for the our web, web applications or our internet programming. So, why it is not good for the our web applications sir? Because the drivers installation ever required in the client mission but web applications always execute inside the server missions. 
So, drivers placing in the client machine, but program is running inside the server machines. So, communication problems are comes and dependency problems also comes. So, it is not suitable for the web applications. Then where we can use? This is uh, suitable for the desktop applications. Reason sir, desktop applications generally we are running at a time on the single machine and in the same machine we are installing the code also. So, desktop as nothing but an standalone applications. For that case, the type 1 is the very suitable or if you want to perform any testing operations, the type 1 is also suitable. The application design, I want to test it. While testing of the operations, you can go for the type 1 drivers. It is not suitable for the web applications, but it is suitable for the desktop applications. So, these are the three main problems available in a type 1 driver. First one, performance, the lengthy process is going on. Second one, if you want to run the project in any mission, that mission, the drive ODBC driver's installation is required. And the next third one, it is not suitable for the all types of applications and is all not suitable for the all types of programming also. And the third one or uh, fourth one, the ODBC drivers means JDBC, ODBC bridge drivers, it is not actually designed in the Java software. But where they, these drivers are designed sir, these drivers basically designed in our native languages as a C, C++ like that. It is not officially developed in the Java software. So, it designed in the C. What happens now, sir? When you are trying to use the C related concepts, we have some performance problems and security problems and dependency problems also available. So, these also the internal drawbacks of the type 1 driver. Of course, we have one small advantage also. The advantage is this one. So, most of the databases they support this type 1 driver's approach. Approximately 99% of our databases, they are using the ODBC drivers for communicating of the databases. The other drivers are, maybe all databases not going to supporting, but type 1 drivers are, maximum databases supporting. So, supportability is more compared to the other types of drivers. That is the one of the advantages. So, this is one of the way to connect to the databases from our JDBC application. So, this type of functionality or approach is called as the type 1 driver. So, what is the example for the type 1 driver sir? Type 1 driver example is this one, JDBC ODBC driver. Who is providing this one sir? Our Sun Microsystem is providing this one. So, where this driver is available? The driver is available as the part of our JDK software that is Sun com dot driver dot this one. So, Sun Microsystems is providing this driver and the driver name is the JDBC ODBC driver. It is available in our sir, JDK software only sir. Yes, it is a part of the our JDK software provided by the Sun Microsystems, but not developed in the Java software. There is a point you should understand. D this driver is designed in the some from other programming things, but we are releasing this driver as the part of the our JDK software for integration activities. So, the driver name is this one and this is the only driver we have is there in other drivers sir. Other drivers not available here at the bridge point of view JDBC, ODBC is the only driver for using for the Java when you want to communicate with the databases in the type 1 approach. What about other languages sir? Other languages they have their own drivers. <laughs> .NET they have the, their own drivers, C, C++ they have their own drivers. I am saying about the Java point of view. Java software point of view, we have the only one driver belongs to the type 1 category. That only one driver is the JDBC and ODBC driver. This driver used by the all the databases with their internal drivers supporting. Internal drivers is nothing but and this one, DB vendor drivers. Means Oracle is providing the type 1 driver, MySQL is providing type 1 driver. Like that every database is providing and supporting the type 1 drivers. For that one to our Java application connectivity, a mediator is required. The mediator playing is this one. That is why see the name is a JDBC and the combination of ODBC. Meaning sir, this is the bridge or communicator between the Java drivers, means Java programming and as well as database supply drivers. That is why we call this is basically a bridge driver. 
And the finally, a small note point also here. Actually, we are discussing the type 1 driver, type 1 drivers and JDBC, ODBC drivers also. But the small point is, current days our JDK versions are unable to support the type 1 drivers. Meaning, sir, these are the outdated drivers and removed from the latest versions of the our Java. Uh, still we are using sir, still we are using meaning is old new versions and already developed projects once upon a time, those softwares they maybe they can use it. But current developmentation, yes. we are not using the JDBC and ODBC drivers. From JDK 1.8 version or Java 8 version, JDK 1.8 or Java 8 version onwards, the driver is removed, not supported by the JDK. Up to 1.7, you have the supporting of the JDBC, ODBC bridge driver. Why they are removed, sir? First of all, these drivers are not suitable for web applications. But current days, maximum of programming is web-based programming only. Standalone applications, we are using very less cases. And the type 1 driver suitable for the standalone, but not for the other than those. So, as per the drawbacks of the drivers, they removed this one from this version. And our last two versions of the Java, JDK 1.9 and JDK 1.8, not supporting the JDBC, ODBC bridge drivers. If anybody is using still means they are going to design, uh, they design the project based on the old versions of Java. Old versions of the Java compatibility is available, but current versions not available this compatibility. So, this is the working nature of the type 1 driver as well as the advantages and disadvantages. So, thanks for work, watching of this video. For more videos, please subscribe to www.youtube.com slash Thank you.